is you put your sample... A soil lab technician explaining functions of equipment. First, he points at a milling machine, saying, for plant material to be properly examined, it needs to be in powdered form. Then he moves to a grinding machine for soil, which produces pulverized samples for examination. Microwave digester, which is used to diagnose soils, plants, water and fertilizer samples to determine the reservoir of chemical elements. It is an elaborate hub for source analysis before the cropping season. The main objective of a farmer is to improve farm yield. The farmer has to press the right button from the start, and the scientists adjudge that button to be the CSIR Soil Research Institute. The question the farmer is asking is that, can this soil of mine produce the maize I want to produce, or the plantain, or the rice I want to produce? Okay? And that boils down to the productivity of the soil. The CSIR Soil Research Lab tests soil to know its nutrient level and to ascertain whether there is any contamination which may hamper plant growth or it is likely to endanger lives of consumers because a dangerous element in soil is absorbed by plants. The farmer may want to know if there are any limitations in the soil, like is my soil acidic, is it saline, and also we are able to run um, all these tests like pH, um, electrical conductivity, to be able to give recommendations. Soil pH influences nutrient availability to plants. Analysis by the soil scientists could identify presence of nutrients in the soil, but the pH level deflects plants from accessing the nutrients. Nutrient uptake of plants will depend whether the pH level of soil is within the acceptable range of 5.5 and 6.5. Below the minimum pH level, 60% of fertilizers applied to soil go waste, but 90% of fertilizers are absorbed by plants if the soil pH level is at optimum. When the electrical conductivity of soils is very high, it means that there is tension between plants and plants' uptake of water and where the statistics are wrong, the plant struggles to absorb water in the soil. The CSIR soil scientists judge irrigated sites to be either saline from salty water or low quality water, inducing minimal productivity. To this end, the CSIR Soil Research Institute wants irrigated water to be tested. The export market, uh, the quality of the produce the same. Uh, it's also a, a big problem now. Uh, last year or so, China uh, dumped uh, some of uh, the produce bought from Ghana because of what? High heavy metal content. Even okay. in cocoa. Cocoa? Yeah, yeah cocoa. We are experiencing high lead content. Mm. Uh, and, and so when we come here, when, when samples are brought here, we can tell you whether the, uh, the levels of uh, these heavy metals are uh, permissible or not permissible. Many countries reject imports where foodstuffs carry metal loads and exporters and source countries could be blacklisted. Since the food chain starts from soil to table, the consumer is in danger of consuming foodstuffs that had their plants laced by poisonous chemicals in the soil. In their rashness, or simply ignoring the protocols, farmers fail to test their soil, or consumers fail to send the end product to Food Research Institute, also of CSIR, to determine status of food before consumption or export. Napoleon Atukito reporting.